if I will see this problem, the problem statement says that if the weight of this planar section is 1 kN, I have to find the reaction at point A as well as at point C. However, the position of the centroid is not given. So we can say that this is one of the advanced problem where first we have to identify the centroid of this body and once we will identify the centroid then we will be able to calculate the uh, reaction at these two points because once I will calculate the centroid suppose the centroid of this body lies here so once I will calculate the centroid I will be able to define the force mg which will act at this point and then this distance is defined by suppose x bar so once I will get the x bar I will be able to calculate the moment at point A or at point C and then I will be able to find the uh, reactions at point C as well as at point A. So my first job would be to find the centroid and as I know that first I have to mark the different sections. If I will see my problem carefully I can identify two different sections. One the semicircular uh, one quarter circle arc. The second one would be this right angle triangle. So once I will make these two sections. My first job would be the make sections. Then I am making these two are the references. I usually follow. I consider the extreme left and the extreme bottom as my reference axis. So this is my one reference axis. This is my second reference axis. Now what I will do. I will mark the individual centroid here. It will help me to put the value in the table as well as it will also help me to reduce my error because once I will visualize the centroid definitely when I will write the table I will put the right value because this is my centroid I know that the position of the centroid from this side is one third of this side 3 by 3 means 1 similarly the position of the centroid from the other side will, will be 4 by 3 similarly the position of the position for this 1 4 circle will be 3 minus 4 r by 3 pi. Similarly if I want to write the position of the centroid corresponding to the x reference this would be the total distance which will be the centroid for this uh, semicircle uh, quarter circle arm so it would be 4 plus 4 r by 3 pi. Similarly if I will write the position of the centroid for the triangle I have to put this value which will be nothing but the 3 minus 1. So it will be uh, basically this total distance is 3 and this is one third of this so 3 so I am going to put that this would be 3 minus 1 which is coming out 2 and the vertical position will be this distance which will be because I know that this is the one third of this total height or we can say that this distance will be two third of the total height so it will be 4 minus 4 by 3 so the position of the centroid for the triangle will be 4 minus 4 by 3 when I will put all the value in my formula I will be able to get the x bar and y bar value which is com which are coming out 1.851 and 4.077 so as I know that now I know that this x bar is coming 1.851 so once I will know this value and if I am interested to find the reaction at point C I know this is a roller joint and the reaction will be perpendicular to this line because these two lines are parallel so this would be the direction of the reaction and this angle is 90 degree so if I know this position I know this value is 1 kilo Newton if I will take the moment at point A I will be able to say that mg into x bar and that mg into x bar will be balanced by this reaction at point C into this distance which is given as 5 meter. So when I will write the equation for the moment at point A, this is the equation I am going to balance the moment at point A, this is my point A. So RC will be multiplied by a distance 5 and mg will be multiplied with the distance x bar and when I am putting these two value I am getting that RC is coming out 375 newton. Thank you.